Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel today. My two minute talk for you this week, I thought was obvious and then I had to say it to myself this morning so I thought I'm going to say it to you. What I plan to talk about today is totally not happening because I became so frustrated at my vanity this morning and I was like, are you kidding me? We live in such a highly intelligent world, or so I thought, that this really shouldn't be an issue. This should not be a problem. What am I talking about? It has to do with foundation shades. Now obviously, testing on your skin is the 100% most fabulous way in order to find your right match. You can also also use some tools that are out there. For example, um, Sephora has the Color IQ system, which will match your skin tone to a variety of shades of various different foundations. But when it comes to the drugstore, you're a little bit screwed because they rarely ever have testers. You're buying things and you're trying to figure out, you take it home, does it match or does it not? You gotta return it, which you're totally encouraged to do and you should return because the foundation shades are messing with you. And so I absolutely encourage you to buy, try and return if necessary. So what I got so frustrated about this morning was, again, something that I thought should have been assumed to be a natural thing. As the number of the foundation increases, so should the shade intensity. You should not, you should be. Never mind what you shouldn't be doing. What you should do is start from the lightest and go to the darkest. And within that, you will have various um, tone bases like yellow toned or pink toned or neutral toned, but still with the assumption that as the numbers get larger, the shades get darker. Unfortunately, I need to call out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundation because it doesn't do that. I have always been a fan of this foundation, but I, I would twinge when I would go to apply it because I felt like the shades really just never matched me. So I was always starting with shade 103, um, which they describe as natural buff. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm pretty much natural buff. I tried it on and I was like, okay, yeah, that for all intents and purposes matches me. And then as I was going throughout the day, I was like, I'm not really sure that's that's the best shade match for myself. So what I had done was I had gone lighter. I had gone to 102 and 102 was like stark white in comparison. I was like, okay, well, I guess I need to be at 103. I guess I need to make my own recipe in order to get it to match my, my own personal skin tone a little bit better. As we approached the summer this past summer, I'm like, oh, I might get a little darker this year. And so I went and I picked up shade 104. And when I was a little bit darker and I applied shade 104, I still kind of twinged because I was like, something isn't right here and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Shade 104 is actually called golden beige. And I'm thinking, well, I'm much more a natural buff than I am a golden beige. And I would much more likely be a 103 than I would be a 104. And guess what? 104 is lighter than 103 and this pisses me off. Is my voice rising? I feel like my voice is rising as I'm discussing this because as I talk about it and remember the drama from this morning, my level of frustration is going up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The comparison between 103 and 104. Now granted, it's not going to be stark and dramatic because they are only, technically I suppose, a shade apart. But when you place it against my neck, you can definitely see the difference. And you know how important it is to get your shade to match exactly. So this right here is shade 104, which should be darker. But in fact, this right here is shade 103, which is definitely a bit deeper and more intense, whereas 104 is definitely a little bit lighter. And it should be a little bit darker, but it's not. It's a little bit lighter. I'm not bitter about this at all, can you tell? So the lesson of the day is that when it comes to foundation, it's all a lie. No, not really. But you have to go with your judgment and you have to go with your gut. Focus on the shade and not on the number. I don't know, was that obvious? But I, I thought there was like order to this world. Apparently there's not. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and support my channel if you did. Um, and if you're not already a subscriber, I would definitely appreciate if you subscribed before you left today. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And in the meantime, thanks. By the way, just as a heads up, the eye look that I'm wearing today, I just finished filming a tutorial on it this morning as per your guys' request, so that will definitely be coming up within the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that, and thank you for the request. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today's two week, two week, two week? Can't even get to two minutes, I'm at two weeks now.